person can be completely submerged in 22 seconds. 22 seconds with a 10 inch auger, they're completely buried. They don't have time to react. As, as the grain augers out, he sinks into the grain like that. And that's back, actually what's gonna happen to a, an actual farmer if he's in there. So depending on what level he's buried at, if we can't see him, we're gonna open holes at the bottom of the bin right away to get the grain out. But if we can physically still see him, and there's still a possibility of us climbing down in there and sending grain over the top, we may open the bin up a little bit higher up to take some of that pressure out. When the person's buried in the grain, say waist deep or chest deep, you actually place a tube around them and push it down into the grain. And it actually isolates that grain around them so we can remove that grain. Once we remove that grain, it takes the pressure away from them, then they can climb up and out of the grain. I stood in the grain and then they simulated emptying the bin by augering it out of the bottom and I sank to where I couldn't move anymore and then they facilitated a rescue attempt and got me out of the corn. I'm alive. Yeah, it was, it was a little nerve-wracking, especially once I got down there, I couldn't move anywhere below my waist. This next year, with the crops last fall going in there a little bit wetter, um, I, I see that potentially you're gonna have more issues this spring and into summer when they start cleaning out rain. Pits. It's the fact that somebody takes a five minute shortcut or they go in to do one thing really quick and nobody's there to shut things off and that's when something happens. Pretty much all grain accidents could be avoided.